you've gone to Comic-Con uh, several times, uh, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. These are some of the most intense television fans in the world. These people uh, idolize uh, these characters as they should. What's the fandom like at Comic-Con? Because there, everything is elevated, you know, 80%. Heightened reality. People who walk on the street to get where they're going, to get to the big hall C with five to 7,000 people in it are all dressed. Uh, I've had some really incredible Comic-Con experiences. I was at a Comic-Con in 2016, and I'm sitting behind a table signing autographs. Right. And my line is <laughs> snaked around the block. Yeah, I am a bragger. Yeah. 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 Guess you what? <laughs> my dad's a microbiologist. Yeah. Oh, you bragger. <laughs> my dad was a carpenter, but he wore some good clothes. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's a slob. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so I'm looking down the line. There's a guy coming at me, and he's, he's really handsome. He's about six feet tall, and he is pulling up his pants as he's coming toward me. And I said, wait, this doesn't look right. Something's wrong. He gets to me, and he badges me. He takes out a badge and goes, law enforcement. And I look at him, and, and I just do my best Gus impression. I say, hmm, I really like law enforcement. Uh, I give to the fun run. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm a member of the community. Well, the guy goes on and on and on. He says, I love your show. And he's giving me all these accolades. He says, I got to show you something. He twists his leg around. He pulls up his pant leg. And from the bottom of his knee, top of his knee down to his ankle is a most incredible tattoo of Walter White. Oh, wow. So yeah. I turn to him without skipping a beat, and I say, you know, I'm not interested in him at all. I am not interested in that. I'm only interested in him and you if you have me somewhere on your body. He looked sad. He looked at me. He, got, right. he, he walked away. Two years later, I'm back at Comic-Con, sitting behind the desk, guys rushing at me. I said, this looks really familiar. This guy's familiar to me. He says, remember me? I said, I sure do. He starts, I said, wait, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. He, he says, no, I gotta show you this, I gotta show you this. He hikes up his other pant leg, and on his other calf is the most incredible tattoo of Gustavo Fring with half of his face. <laughs> half the face gone. Half the face gone. That's nice. So I say to him, I said, very good, now you're even. <laughs> <laughs> you, are com you are complete, my son. Yes, you may go exactly. on into the world. The fans are great. I tell you, it's not the first time I've had people come up to me with tattoos on their bodies. And I say, I think to myself, what will happen when they die? <laughs> when their body is examined? They go, who are these That's people? That's the second time in this show that a guest has brought up being exhumed and their body. <laughs> There's something, there's a theme tonight. Mm. You're obsessed with people's butts being examined in the afterlife? Yes, I am. <laughs>